Hello and welcome to this episode of Seeking God's Heart. My name is Dupe and today I would like us to talk about the topic I call glory and beauty. Now in Exodus chapter 28 verse 1, God made a very unique statement. He had called Moses and told him to choose Aaron and his four sons and dedicate them as priests for the people of Israel. But one interesting thing was that he now took details and if you go through the whole of Exodus um, chapter 8, you will see there, he took details about how their dress should be. If you look at the description of the attire they were to wear, breastplate was also supposed to be covered with 12 different precious stones. So you had gold, you had diamonds, you had um, sapphires, topaz, and so on. Then he ended it in verse 2 to say that this attire you're going to make for the priest should be for glory and for beauty. The issue of glory, when I read it for the first time, was very clear to me. Because when you're talking about glory, glory is about the manifestation of the presence of God. And the priests were um, supposed to serve God. But at that time, what I didn't quite understand was the issue about beauty. I was wondering, when God is talking about how the priest should dress, why was he so concerned about beauty? But later, I took a step back and I looked at it. And I realized that it wasn't a mistake. God himself is beautiful. If you look at the works of his hands, they're beautiful. Take a look at the mountains. Take a look at the hills when you're traveling. You see the hills, how majestic they are. Look at the flowers, how God plays with colors. If you watch the animal channels on TV, you will see different kinds of animals and you could see that these animals are created by God, by God who pays attention to beauty. But from this Bible passage, what God is teaching us is that glory must go along with beauty. So when we decide to dress up, when we decide to go out there, we must pay attention. As we pay attention to beauty, we must also pay attention to what brings God glory. So for people that are seeking God's heart, sexy, sensual, dressing to kill is a total no-no. As every other thing in our life pleases God, we must also seek to make sure that our dressing pleases God. It's not about your style, it's not about what's in vogue, it's what about what brings glory to God. What God is teaching us today is that beauty is fine, but beauty must go along with God's glory. It makes sense sometimes when you finish dressing to step in front of the mirror and ask God, say God, what do you think? And wherever he asks us to make adjustments, let's immediately do that. As we step out day by day, beauty is fine, but we must pay attention to making sure that whatever we do brings glory to God. Thank you for watching this episode of Seeking God's Heart.